Hey, Andre here from Novo Resume. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most common interview questions that you'll likely encounter. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Career advice by Novo Resume. This question can be tricky because you don't want to come across as full of yourself or arrogant, but at the same time, you want to showcase your skills and abilities to the hiring manager. So how can you answer this question in a professional and yet effective way? First, you want to be prepared for this question and have a statement ready. Consider what you believe to be your personal strength or ask a friend to help you identify what you're good at. Make sure to include a wide range of strengths, including knowledge-based skills, transferable skills, soft skills, and also personal traits to demonstrate your versatility. One way to answer this question is to use a specific example or a story that highlights your strengths. This can help you stand out from other candidates and make your answer more memorable. I'll walk you through four different examples from recent graduate to a regional manager. If you're a recent graduate and you're passionate about learning new things, you could say something like, one of my strengths is my ability to quickly learn and adapt to new situations. I've always been curious and eager to learn new things, and I'm confident that I can bring the same attitude for this role. For example, during my college studies, I took a course on a new programming language and was able to complete a project that was praised by my professor for its creativity and innovation. If you're an entry-level salesperson and you're natural at building relationships with others, you could say something like, one of my strengths is my ability to connect with people. I genuinely enjoy getting to know others and building relationships. This has helped me to be successful in sales, where I've consistently exceeded my sales targets and received positive feedback from my clients. If you're a mid-level software developer and you're passionate about learning new software, you could say something like, Whenever a new software is released, I'm always the first one to test it out and get familiar with it. I love pushing the edge and learning every new aspect of the new software. In fact, just last week I found a software issue with one of my video games. I called the developer and they fixed it right away. I think this new position, this position will give me the opportunity to apply my passion and help make pro better programs for your company. If you're a regional manager at a paper company, you could say something like, well, let me tell you, my greatest strength is definitely my ability to connect with people. I mean, I could be talking to a brick wall and that brick wall would be, you're one cool brick wall and I'd be, thanks, you too. But honestly, I think my real strength is my sense of humor. You know, I can take any situation and make it a little bit more bearable with a well-timed joke or a clever pun. I mean, I can't fix all the world problems, but I can make them a little bit more bearable with a good laugh. <laughs> Plus, I'm a great leader. I can motivate my team and make them feel valued, which is so important in today's business world. If you're a senior level marketing professional and you're skilled at developing creative campaigns, you could say something like, one of my greatest strengths is my ability to develop unique and effective marketing campaigns. I have a creative mind and I'm not afraid to think outside the box. For example, I recently developed a campaign for a new product launch that resulted in over 30% increase in sales within the first quarter. I believe that this skill can be beneficial to your company as well. Now, when it comes to talking about your weaknesses, it's important to be honest, but also to show that you're aware of your weakness and that you're working on improving it. For example, if you have a tendency to procrastinate, you could say something like, I found that one of my weaknesses is procrastination. I've been working on it by setting goals and deadlines for myself and breaking down larger tasks into smaller manageable chunks. I also try to stay organized and prioritize my tasks. It's also important to note that while it's good to be honest, it's also important to be strategic. Avoid discussing a weakness that is crucial to the role you're interviewing for. Being able to identify areas of improvement demonstrates that you are a well-rounded candidate. A good example to answer this part for someone that is shy and to express their ideas sounds something like this. I am incredibly introverted, which makes it hard for me to share my ideas in a group settings or speaking up during team meetings. I feel that I had good intentions, I just wasn't always comfortable speaking up. After my my team didn't meet expectations on two consecutive projects, I decided it's time to start making changes to get more familiar with sharing my ideas for the benefit of my team. I took local improv classes and started trying to get more comfortable discussing my thoughts. It's still a work in progress, but it's something that I've improved dramatically over the past year. So when it comes to talking about your weaknesses, don't be like Michael Scott by having a hard time admitting them. Instead be like Jim, try to turn your weaknesses into strengths. In summary, when answering the question, what are your strengths and weaknesses, it's important to be prepared, 
specific and honest. Use examples or stories to showcase your strengths and demonstrate how they can benefit the company. When discussing your weaknesses, be honest, but also show that you're aware of your weakness and that you're working on improving it. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on how to succeed in your next job interview.